Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XV Comrades. On this video we're doing the main quest, The Blade Keeper's Trial. And in order to unlock it we'll need to progress Descent into Darkness by supplying power to Golden Key. Anybody? And I have a lot of power to give. Um, I'm gonna power up this node, this is unnecessary, this is just my way of forcing myself You've to grind. Got the power. So we'll send 16,000 there, that does nothing. We'll send 20,000 here. All right, let's light it up. And that gives me 16,000 gil. And then we're gonna come down here. That's 30,000. Transmission complete. And golden key will be another 3,000. All right, let's light it up. My child. Darkness threatens to plunge this world into night eternal. But hope is not yet lost. So long as the Chosen King still lives. Go to him, child of Lucis. The glaive must now protect its king. At long last, you managed to recall your phone's passcode, 1129. Now that your phone is unlocked, check your inbox from the info menu. And we have top secret orders. Attention, comrades. Operation Repatriation is scheduled to commence tomorrow before daybreak. Once Regis discovers Lady Lunafreya is aboard the Imperial aircraft, he will order the glaive to retrieve her. With the Crown City left defenseless, the Empire will strike, finally putting an end to this long and hopeless war. His Majesty accepted refugees into Insomnia and provided us a new home. For that, I am grateful. Yet His Majesty also allowed the Empire to come in and destroy the home we left behind. For that, I will never forgive him. The path you tread is yours alone to choose, but I, for one, choose to continue fighting for Galad. If they brand me a traitor, so be it. My allegiance lies with my home and my people, and I hope yours does too. For Hearth and Home, Luce Lazarus. Alright, so we need to supply power to the dock now. Ready to get powered key. up? And that one is cheap. Just 300 kilowatts of power. Or actually, not 300, 500. We've got the power. The shuttle bound for Golden Key is now up and running. Do you remember me talking about King Regis's ship? The one that group of hunters found off the coast of Golden Key? Well, I got another call from my friend Dino, and he told me that the King's Glaive has successfully recovered the boat and it's tied up at the dock. They're probably about to start their investigation as we speak! Uh, I hope they find something that helps us figure out where Prince Noctis is. A few of the other glaives have shared some really strange stories with me lately. They told me they get some headaches a few times a day. And whenever they do, an image of Angel Guard pops into their heads. And then, the royal family's lost ship was suddenly found offshore. I get a feeling something funny is happening on the island. Hey, it's Kor. People's lives are in your hands. This is your chance to restore the King Glaive's honor. Watch your back out there. Don't die on me. The King's powers are at your behest. Put them to good use. Now more than ever, we need to work together. We're back at full capacity! We'll have the whole Lucian continent lit up in no time. And Holly said, let there be light. All right, let's do this. Head to Golden Key. Danger awaits you ahead. Are you prepared? Yes. Well, look who it is. You've really made a name for yourself. This baby's also pretty famous. 
former vessel of King Regis and his son. The prince and his pals are flowed away. But we hauled her in and fixed her up. Hey, see that island up ahead? That's the Umbral Isle of Angel Garden. Maybe you've seen it before. A couple of my glaives told me it appeared to them in some kind of daydream. So that it came on all of a sudden, too. They say the island's got a strong connection with the line of Lucis. Now, I ain't one to put much stock in superstition. Think about it for a second. First, these visions. And now His Majesty's ship. Maybe I'm going out on a limb. But if I didn't know any better, I'd say this is some kind of summons. Defeat Bahamut. I will use my new aura ability. Let's get to work. Ooh, that's some nice damage. Now, unfortunately, I can't heal, so I do need to be careful. Oh. Barely got that block up in time. A new aura! Oh, that means I also can't revive. I didn't think about that. Oh well. I'll get up. Let's try the Radiant Lance. Oh yeah, this is much better. Nobody's healing me. There we go. Much better. Alright, well, he's not too bad yet. Uh, let's see. We'll put up a new aura. Like, why not? Can't use my MP for anything else that's too useful. Oh, I tried to dodge out of there. It didn't work. Well, my allies are getting their butts kicked, but I'm doing pretty good. New aura. Whoa. 
Careful though, Bahamut. That sword hurts. Rise to the occasion. Oh, that put me in stasis. Yeah, chain warp. Oh, it's too bad my buff's not still running. That's all right. Should be able to do a bunch of damage here. Might even be able to finish him. Oh, stasis. And I'm out of cross chance. All right, let's finish. Oh, God, let's finish him off. Aura. Your power has been proven. Let it thus be decreed. On this day, in the name of the King of Lucis, I hereby grant you absolution for your sins. They set foot on sacred ground. It was here where the Oracle once forged a covenant with the Storm Sender. And it is here where the Chosen King shall receive the revelation of the Blade Keeper. Yet he cannot awaken the power slumbering within his breast while darkness blight threatens this purest of places. Thus falls to the sword to smite the scourge and safeguard the light. Battle scar down to the bone, falling, failing to believe, living in so much despair with no hope of relief. Was I born to be betrayed? Was I born to simply die? Can I bear to seek the truth when it feels like a lie?
Be waiting in Hammerhead. Your Highness, I'm glad you're okay. If you did all this for me... All this for the King of Kings. Let not their sacrifices go in vain. He must make haste for the seat of the stone and ascend as its rightful heir. Our paths shall cross again. Thanks. I hope they do. Play data has been saved. The game will resume from Lestalm when you load your file. We hope you continue to enjoy multiplayer expansion, comrades. So we've helped Noctis awake, and we've finished the, uh, let's call it the base game of the DLC. However, there were updates from the base game that we'll continue to do and get trophies for. The Draconian has issued you an even more daunting challenge. Visit Monica at Mission Headquarters to undertake your new mission, Rematch the Blade Keeper's Tribe. Oh. 
Awaken, child of Lucis, and go forth. The true king, chosen by the stone, awaits. Supply power to the royal tombs to receive use of the royal sigils. Seven of the royal tombs have been located at present. Alright, and we've actually gotten six of them already, so just one remains. That's the expensive one. It sounds like Exynerus is still short-staffed. I don't have any experience, but I want to lend a helping hand however I can. Help wanted! Exynerus is looking for talented young men and women to help us boldly go where no engineer has gone before. Available positions, plant worker, electrical engineer. Think you've got what it takes? Join us at Exynerus, where the light of hope shines ever bright. Note, mountaineering experience strongly recommended. You're the talk of the town, kid. Good morning, everyone. Maya here from Exynerus. It's time to roll up our sleeves for another workday. Remember, safety first and productive always. Maya, huh? No idea who that is. Alright, so... Let's take a look at our info. We have new characters. Dino Garans. Meteor publishing columnist who dabbles in crafting accessories and jewelry on the side. His dealings with Noctis and company have centered primarily around acquiring gemstones to feed his hobby. One could be forgiven for... F or one could be forgiven for finding the fast-talking and free-willing artisan frivolous. But the finery he forges brings succor to many devastated by demon attacks. Though he had forsworn his career in journalism in favor of pursuing handicraft full-time, the coming of the Long Night threw a wrench in his plans. With an increasingly difficult to procure, or with, oh, with or increasingly difficult to procure, and his former boss Viv in need of a hand, the plucky pressman returned to Lestalem to get the scoop on potential threats to lead while scooping up whatever gems he can find locally. Then we have Titan the Archean, god of Earth, one of the six who once presided over Eos. The Landforger was awakened from slumber by the Oracle Lunafreya. Legends tell of the Archean absorbing the force of the cataclysmic meteor as it hurtled down to Eos, resulting in the meteor shards that now power Lestalem and Light Lucis. The mighty Astral now tests the worth of glaives who stand trial before the Draconian at Angel Guard in the name of defending Noctis. Rama the Fulgurian God of the Storm, one of the six who once presided over Eos. The storm sender awoke to the pleas of the oracle Lunafreya and conferred his power upon Noctis. The Fulgorian, it is said, administers the natural laws of Eos from on high, casting judgment down on those who would harm the star. After a recuperative rest at Angel Guard in the wake of the Astral War, the Lord of Lightning returned to Disky to strike down Imperial trespassers. The mighty Astral now tests the worth of Glaives, who stand trial before the Draconian at Angel Guard in the name of defending Noctis. Leviathan, the Hydrian, goddess of the seas, one of the six who once presided over Eos. The tempestuous Tide Mother rose to the call of the Oracle, Oracle Lunafreya. The Empire's assault on the proud serpent provoked the Hydrian's wrath, conjuring a maelstrom of destruction that ravaged Altitia and devoured countless lives. The mighty Astral now tests the worth of Glaives, who stand trial before the Draconian at Angel Guard in the name of defending Noctis. Shiva, the Glacian. Goddess of Ice and one of the six who once presided over Eos, the somber Frostbearer heeded the prayer of the Oracle Lunafreya to grant Noctis her blessing. Roused suddenly from hibernation in Gorovas, or Gorovas Rift, the Glacian brought the chill wind of death to bear on half the Imperial army before suffering her own corporeal demise. She is the true form of the spirit incarnate in Gintiana, using both her celestial form and material body to cure Eos and the Star Scourge. The mighty Astral now tests the worth of Glaives who stand trial before the Draconian at Angel Guard in the name of defending Noctis. And Bahamut, the Draconian. God of War, one of the six who once presided over Eos. The Draconian's bonds to the Lucii run deepest among the six, and his image adorns the insignia of the King's Glaive. On Glaives who would atone for the sins of the, of the past, namely the misdeeds of those who betrayed the very crown that gave them power, the Blademaster bestows his grace and might, but not before they swear fealty to Noctis and prove themselves worthy of the honor. And he looks super cool. Alright. So, like I said, the base game, if you want to call it, 
is completed, but there's lots more to do and more trophies to earn. Oh, and actually, before we quit, I want to see if we got any awesome hold pictures. Hold on to all the photos my guy takes. If from you any of you the like, astrals. I can frame it for you. Got something cool for me, Viv? I hope so. Nope, 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 nope. Don't care about any of that grinding stuff. <laughs> I could show uh, Libertus with his bugged out swords. Sure, I want to remember this forever. That's an interesting photo, but kind of bad. Well, that's sad, I didn't get any good ones. I guess I should keep the only good, uh, only one I have. I should have taken more photos, come on. Random photographer guy that follows me. Oh, and we have treasure I should pick up. Ooh, nice. Hecti's eyes are good. Thick hides? Don't know. Large beast bone? Also don't know. Galvanade fragments? Bleh. Garchomachera claws? Those aren't very good. Strong bones? I think those are actually pretty good. If I... I'm thinking correctly, those are the ones that give one power for 190 experience. Fossil woods, I'm not sure. Barbed scythes, not sure. I know they're used for a weapon. But I got some good stuff out of that. Alrighty, so we're going to wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.